Hi everyone, this is Mary Gregory with Mass Coding Solutions. Welcome to Coding Speak today. I call it Coding Speak, Coding Talk. I am so glad to have you with us today. Today we'll be continuing with part two, uh, PCS preparing you for uh, the CCS and what you need to know about uh, PCS coding. That stands for what? Procedural Coding System. Uh, PCS coding is used for inpatient uh, coding. Uh, if you're going to take the CCS, uh, of course, that is a heavily latent uh, inpatient test. And so we want you to be prepared. Today we're going to be talking about, you know, the root operations and the PCS. It's about 32 root operations. They, did, they are divided into nine divisions. Um, our first um, PCS um, root operation, we talked about uh, the root operation that cut out or removed something from the body without replacing it. And so that was excision, I believe. We did resection. Um, we did extraction. And so we have to now, so remember that. And these nine divisions are in your book. That's why I always said know your book because they're in there. So we talked about excision, resection, detachment, destruction, and uh, like I said, extraction. Those are the root operations that take something out or remove something or eradicate something without replacement. So today, what are we going to be talking about? We're going to be talking about the root operations that, number one, it takes out solid and that it can be a solid matter that is removed or it can be fluid that are removed, that can be removed, or gases. And we're also going to talk about the next group of root operations, which is very short. There is the root operation that involves cutting or separation only. Uh, so let's talk about the first three. So the root operation that takes out solids, fluid, or gases from a body part can be a drainage, there can be an extirpation, and it can be fragmentation. Now drainage is very easy. You, if somebody have an abscess, they do an IND, incision, uh, and drainage. We know that's going to go on the drainage. Extrapation, people struggle a little bit more with that one because that is the removal of a sustenance or a solid or uh, a foreign body that doesn't belong in the body. If someone have a kidney stone and they remove that kidney stone, then that is extrapation because that is a solid matter that doesn't belong in the body. There, uh, if a patient have a thrombus, that's, that's a solid matter in a sense because it's a blood clot. It's a clump. And so they have to remove it. And that is called extrapation. And then fragmentation is when they're breaking up stone or they're breaking up some type of solid matter. And the patient can usually pass that solid matter uh, out of their body. Uh, think of an ESWL. An uh, ESWL is a fragmentation of a kidney stone or ureteral stone and uh, someone is lowered into this tub and they have all these little electric shocks going through uh, that part of the body to break that stone into pieces. And then later on the patient can go home and they can pass that stone. And that's called fragmentation. They can also do fragmentation in other parts of the body. Maybe uh, if someone have a, a, a gallbladder stone. Uh, they got a stone in their gallbladder, but it cannot be removed. Maybe the patient has too many uh, comorbidity conditions. Um, and it wouldn't be safe to put them under general anesthesia. So sometimes they'll go in and they'll fragment that stone. And then they'll percutaneously remove it later on. And so just think about that. So that um, remember those are that group of root operation that take out a solid or fluid from or a gas from a body part. And the thing that you have to remember in coding, sometimes the physician documentation is not going to be word for word for these PCS procedures. It's your responsibility as a coder to know when that physician documents certain things, a procedure that was done, 
it's your responsibility as a coder to be able to say, hmm, this fits a thoracentesis, or this fit a drainage. So a physician said he does a thoracentesis, you have to know that's a drainage. They don't have to set drainage for you. You, the coder, have to know how to equate that documentation to the root operation. And so that's why, um, uh, that's why we was, you know, it's so important that we explain that to you all. Uh, paracentesis, that's a drainage. See, they're removing fluid. See, so don't, uh, sometimes uh, uh, they may put in um, a Foley catheter. That's for drainage, see. So just remember that the documentation may not say drainage. It's up to us as coders to go out and research it if we don't understand it. Uh, I do a lot of that. Uh, I've been coding for a long time, and I still do a lot of research. Uh, extrapation, just a little bit, like I said. It can be uh, the solid matter that they need to take out, an abnormal product that doesn't belong in the body. Um, maybe, like I said, aneurysm. That's a, somebody may have an aneurysm that need to be removed. Uh, but you have to be careful because if they actually resect that part of the vessel, they actually cut the vessel out. See, that may not be an extrapation. That may be an excision. So you always have to remember and look at your documentation and say, what is really going on? Because the aneurysm myectomy, they may actually go in and cut out that part of the vessel. Or they can take a little suction tube and go in and just suck out that blood clot. See? And if they suck it out, that's an extrapation. If they make a small incision into that vessel and, and mash it so it'll come out, milk it out, then that's still an extrapation. But if they actually remove that uh, body part, then we're no longer dealing with an extra patient. We could be dealing with an excision, detachment, whatever the case may be. And we talked about fragmentation, how that is uh, the breaking up of some type of, uh, once again, it, we think of, I think of it a lot as a stone, but it could be a fragmentation of a blood clot if they have to use some type of device, a laser or something, to break it up so that it will move out of the patient body. Now, the next group we're going to talk about is uh, the root operation that's cutting or separating something within the body. There's only two of those. That is um, division and release. Now, there have been times when um, the official coding clinic people would say something is a release. I don't always agree with that. But you know what? I have to follow the rules. Division means cutting into a body part without draining fluid or gases in order to separate it. Think about it as um, a neurotomy. Uh, I always, when I first started learning PCS, I always thought about otomy. Otomy means cutting into. Otomy means making an incision into something. And so sometimes we have like an osteotomy. That's, that's a cutting into the bone, because osteo is, osteo is bone. And of course, your O is your combined in form uh, there. So osteotomy, once again, the physician not going to call it a division. They may say it's an osteotomy. You, the coder, have to know what does that really mean in the PCS world, say. And so osteotomy means cutting, dividing, but they're not having to release anything. Release means that we got a body part that is kind of tangled up, and we got to go in and we got to separate it. Think about a uh, license of adhesion. See, so when somebody, when uh, sometimes when people come in and they have an adhesion in their intestinal, most of the time it's in the small intestinal. That means a band of strong something fibrous tissue have wrapped itself around that intestinal, see. And it's not getting a blood supply, it's causing a lot of pain. And so the physician would go in and cut that fibrous tissue and release that intestinal, see. 
So that's a release because you are freeing up a constraint body part. You also have a release when you have, uh, sometimes patients have um, adhesions in a joint. And they have to go in and they have to break those adhesions up. See, So that is a release. So always think about a release is a freeing. It's freeing up a body part. Okay? A division just slicing into it and, uh, and separating them. See, a division is separating those body parts. And uh, um, a release is freeing it up. Alrighty. I don't want to go too long today. Uh, but I do hope that, once again, uh, this PCS, as we move into PCS, it will be a, a benefit to you for your CCS. And not just for CCS, but for your everyday coding. See, the mark of a good coder. This is what people are looking for in you as a coder. Your critical thinking skills. See, a coder has to know that it's just not putting a, a number on a chart. You know that it's more than that, see. And we're looking for people with great critical thinking skills. Because you can't go back to the physician and say, Oh, you did an osteotomy. I need to know if that's a division or a release. No. That's not, that's not how you operate as a coder. You're going to go do your research first. Do you know how many? Probably not. I do a lot of procedures sometimes that I don't get to code again. And it may be the first time I see it. So I'll research it and say, okay, eh, what do I need to do here? I'll go research it. See, um, the, the coding clinic said the fasciotomy, uh, sometimes compartment syndrome. Sometimes people in bad accidents, they have what they call compartment syndrome. It's where um, and usually you're going to find it in the muscle. The muscle is being constrained. And uh, originally I thought, hmm, that must be a division. But they said it's a release because they're trying to free something up. All right. So just wanted to give you those examples. I want to thank you all for being with me today for co of what Coden Speak. Coden is speaking to you today. And coding is saying you are going to become better at your coding. And it's saying you are going to pass the CCS. Alrighty, so don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. Go to our website, www.mascodingsolutions.com. And I just look forward to hearing from you all, good, bad, or indifferent. I don't mind hearing it all. I've grown up a lot lately. Uh, you know, in America, people can be really hard on you. But you know what? At the end of the day, as long as you know you're doing your best, then you can't let other people determine who you are. Okay? Talk to you later.